pop is considerably growing worldwide. Our favorite idols, both veteran and rising, make sure to fervently represent the genre throughout their versatile music that echoes globally. See also, 8 times celebrities provided us with precious health tips this year alone saw K-pop's massive impact on the music industry, both domestically and overseas. Here are our 8 significant K-pop moments from 2018 that we have witnessed so far. Soompi. Display. News. English.300 X 250, BTF Soompi. Mobile. English.300 X 250, ATF1. EXO is the first featured K-pop artist at the Dubai Fountain show this year started off quite well for K-pop. The one and only EXO members are so powerful, they might reach the Middle East. In fact, one of their title tracks, Power, was the first ever Korean song to be played during the Dubai Fountain Water show. The prominent group surely has a long list of impressive achievements. One of the latest additions is their appointment as honorary ambassadors by the Korea Tourism Organization. Enjoy the musical fountain show down below, too. Boa's first mini-album release being a vital element in the K-pop scene, the best of Asia surely lives up to her name. Throughout her prosperous career, Boa has blessed us with a total of 18 full albums. Three years after her latest studio album, she made a graceful comeback with her first ever mini-album. Needless to say that anything Boa releases is bound to leave us bedazzled. Catch a glimpse of one of her recent hits, 3. K-pop's dominance at 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics K-pop's effect reigned over the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, as it was vividly highlighted throughout this major sports event. Furthermore, the musical genre received tremendous attention from some of the participating Olympians who competed in figure skating. Not only did these athletes feature popular songs by Big Bang and 2NE1, to name a few, during their respective routines, but they also turned out to be huge K-pop fans. The closing ceremony itself was truly monumental, with CL and EXO beautifully captivating the audience during their respective performances. 4. Spring is coming, special concert in North Korea as part of a cross-border cultural visit between South Korea and North Korea, which preceded the Inter-Korean Summit held on April 27, Red Velvet and Girls' Generation So High and joined the lineup of artists set for the Spring is Coming concert. On top of her performance, So High and also MCED the special event. This rare occasion played an important role in honoring the peace treaty between the two countries. The show was so well received, it scored high viewership ratings on the main broadcasting channels. 5G IDLE's outstanding debut every year, a notable amount of K-pop groups make their debut. Yet, something about G IDLE tells us that they're here to stay. In fact, the Monster Rookies left a remarkable first impression with their debut release, which granted them noteworthy ranks on music charts such as the Garn Album Chart, Billboard's World Albums Chart, Gaon Digital Chart, and Soompi's K-Pop Music Chart. Moreover, they earned three wins on Korean music shows with title track, L-A-T-A-T-A, with their first win happening only 20 days after their debut. 6. Shiny's 10th anniversary spending a decade in the music industry is definitely a significant accomplishment worth commemorating. The members of Shiny celebrated their 10th anniversary with the release of The Story of Light, a three-episode full album. The trilogy is particularly symbolic, with the first EP mirroring how others perceive Shiny, while the second EP reflects how the members view themselves. Through the third and final EP, the boys paid homage to late member and friend, Jung Hyun, where they promised to fill the pages of their story together until the very end. 7. BTS's historical Billboard achievements A fair share of K-pop idols have had the privilege to chart on Billboard amongst popular US and Latin artists. Yet, BTS remains the most listed Korean act on its various charts. As a matter of fact, the highly acclaimed group is no stranger to the US dominant charting system, since they have been featured with some of their albums and title tracks many times before. Lately, the members have prestigiously represented the Korean genre with their latest comeback by entering at a solid no. 10 with their title track, Fake Love, on the Hot 100, and landing no. 1 with their album, Love Yourself, Tear, on the Billboard 200, both milestones make BTS the first Korean artist to occupy such high positions. Upon their comeback, the influential boys also earned the top spot on the following Billboard charts, World Albums, Artist 100, Top Album Sales, Independent Albums, and Digital Song Sales.
Up until now, their reign over the Social 50s chart continues for 89 weeks straight, for which they have received the Top Social Artist Award two years in a row. Watch BTS's spectacular comeback premiere on the 2018 Billboard Music Awards. 8. Blackpink is the first K-pop girl group to enter the UK's official singles chart Another first for K-pop is brought to us by a girl group this time. BLACKPINK's musicality has invaded the world, and coming in at no. 78 on the United Kingdom's official singles chart proves it as they are the first K-pop girl group ever to enter the charts. With their recent comeback slaying left and right, these fierce ladies are not here to play. Another honorable mention is their recent debut on the US Billboard charts, they reached no. 55 on the Hot 100 with the Do The Do, and place no. 40 on the Billboard 200 with Square Up, both are the highest charting single and album ever by a K-pop girl group. Other memorable firsts are their debut at number one on both the World Albums chart with Square Up and the Emerging Artists chart. The Do The Do, ranked no. 39 on the streaming songs tally as the first K-pop girl group song to do so, it's safe. To say that Blackpink is the revolution indeed. Take a look at BLACKPINK's latest record maker. What is your favorite major K-pop moment? Did we miss any others? Let us know in the comments below. Esmiel is a Moroccan lively dreamer, writer, and Halley enthusiast.